again, I was recently asked for some help with a partial reload by someone. So I figured, ah, let me go ahead and throw an application together. And while I'm doing it, let me just record a video to help anybody who may struggle with it. The concept is that I have an existing data model out there. And so if I look at my model, I've got two tables. I've got a few fields in each thing. It's very, very simple uh, type of a data model there. Not, nothing fancy, nothing to write home about. But what I want to do is in my partial reload, I want it to actually create a new table. This table could be something that I've gone and selected data for based on filters or selections of any kind. And I'm also going to show you how I could change the values that are in the existing table. So what I'm going to do before I press the button here, well, let me go ahead and press the button. I'm going to show you how this works. So I press the button. I'm going to have a little text box here just to remind myself that, hey, the last load type was the partial reload, which is kicked off by this button. And you notice now that these values change from 10, 20, and 30 to 100, 200, 300. And I have this whole new table. And if I looked at my data model, I'll see, oh, look, I've got this whole new table out here in my data model. If I look at my load editor, you'll see this is done. There's a, there's a few slight changes you need to make. You can wrap your sections with this function is partial reload. If the value is false, -da, it's a full load, so I set my variable for full, full load. The other thing here is I'm explicitly saying I want to add this table to my model. If it's a partial reload, it would be true, that the value of that function would be true. I don't have to do if, then, and if, and if, then, and if. It could be if, then, else so that I have it in one thing. But I, what I tried to do for this particular user um, and showing you here is I could be very, very clear in what I'm doing on each and every page. So if I load things separately and I load tables separately, I can make sure, hey, if it's a full load, I want to do this. If it's a partial load, I want to do that. It's always add if I'm doing a full reload and it's always replace if I'm doing a replace. So I, even though there is no table called partial, I'm doing a replace because I could, in fact, press that button over and over and over uh, to do it. So it would always replace the table partial then. If it didn't exist, it obviously creates it. But for table two, since it did exist, it does replace it. And that's basically it. It doesn't have to get any more complicated than this. And so that should help you. If I look at this sheet again and show you all I've done in this button is I've created this action for partial reload and I've chosen reload data and when I choose that action you'll see it gets partial reload. Easy breezy. Hope this helps you understand how to do partial reload and can really crank up your ability to do some really neat stuff in ClickSense or ClickCloud. Have a great day.